Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody's trying to cut this out with a plasma cutter, but they don't, they, they like the uh, font, but they don't like the and sign. <clears throat> There's two ways to do this, to change out that and sign. If you see that little dot right there, if you get your shape tool and select on that, you can go and pick any other and sign. And let's say they want to go with that one. So you can do it that way, or it's still all selected as uh, go up to object and break it apart. And then you can grab that particular font and change it to that. Now to go a little bit further, if this is too thin, but you like that, I would left click, right click, taking away the fill, go up to effects and contour, and we're going to contour the outside 0.5. Gives it a little bit thicker. I'm going to go to object, break contour apart. I'm going to grab the center contour and move it out of the way. Now you have a thicker end sign and you can fill that in. Now they're going to cut this out on a plasma cutter. So they're going to left click, right click in red. And that's what it's going to look like. Now the E is too tall. So one way you can do the the A is basically 12 point or that is 12.17 that's about 12. You could go right here with your ratio lock and change that to 12. Now it might not be top to bottom but you can grab all that and hit B and put it to the bottom of the page. Now in plasma cutting uh, they also asked about how to join these letters together. All of them look pretty good um, my suggestion, and this is pretty big, that's a pretty narrow gap right there. You can grab it with the shape tool while holding down the control button. You can move that in over. You know, the I and the N is here pretty little, and you're going to see why in just a second. So I'm going to move that over. The top doesn't really matter as much because we're going to put a bar in here. So now that's all ready to go. We have to convert this to a curve to get this to work. And then I'm going to take a bar, and this is how I normally do it. Take a bar, and let's say it's going to be, uh, this is way too big, um, just like a 0.5 of an inch. Whoop, I had my ratio a lot. <clears throat> I don't think they want this thing to be that long. Uh, it's huge. Let's make it like 24 inches. And then you can take a bar and I would hit center of the page. My phone's going off. Uh, I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page just to make sure you get that bar and see since I had all the letters broken up, what we have to do is take, let's take our bar and hit P, put it in the center of the page and then grab this and control G and put it in the center of the page. Then you can move that bar up. We want to make that bar, I would say, just a half inch tall, so 0 0.5. But I'm going to unlock my ratio. That way it didn't change it. Now I'm going to change my nudge factor like 0 0.1. And I'm going to nudge that down where it just fits. Just grabbing all the letters. You don't want too much. And what I always do, because this is a rectangle, with your ratio corner unlocked, I would put like a quarter inch radius on it. And then on this side, put a quarter inch radius or a half. I'm going to go ahead and make that red. And then because we've converted the text to a, a curve, it will weld it together and you're ready to go. I always take my smart fill tool and fill it in just to make sure it's all sealed up. And then you can left click, right click, make sure it's a hairline, which it's not. Then I would, in plasma cutting, I would look at the nodes. It's got an awful lot of nodes. We've got an example of what it looks like. So when we change it, grab the shape tool, select all the nodes and go right here and type in like 20. If we look, we've got 427 nodes. We do 20, we've only got 112. It didn't change it that much. You know, it's still your, and this is why I wanted some space between here. 
So the plasma cutter, you know, that's real tight right there. Um, you could quite possibly, you know, change that just minutely. You know, you could move that over, allow the plasma cutter to have room to cut through there. I don't see any nodes that we do not need. Let's just look at the and side. You know, it's on all the curves. You could try deleting this node, changed it too much, so we have to put that back. Anyway, hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.